tune in for all of our great interviews. Hello guys, we're here today with Mr. Tony Taylor. Today we're going to go over a few things that he's done, also about a project that he may be working on or previously worked on. So, Mr. Tony Taylor, what was your inspiration for this project? My inspiration for this project simply was my wife, Christy. And the script that I've written is called Ripples. It deals with school shootings. And my wife works at a school, and she is at the front desk. So if there were to be a school shooting, um, unfortunately, uh, she would be probably the first victim. So it made a deep impression on my, you know, on me. And um, I had to, I had to write something about it. And um, so I concentrated on, instead of actually focusing on the killer or motives for that, the people involved, uh, because the people involved cause ripples. It changes in their lives. Things that are drastically going to change because of this situation. And that was my inspiration. That's good. That's a really tough topic to talk about right now, especially um, in America or anywhere, what happens with uh, shootings, whether school shooting, mass shootings. Um, so that's definitely something interesting um, and a good take on it to be able to talk about because life is the best art. Um, what sets your project apart from others? Well, I, I think what sets it apart from others is the fact that uh, you would normally think because of the headlines that there would want to be something discovered about why a person could do such a terrible thing. Why could somebody, of all places, a school, go in and decide to murder people? Um, I think mine's different in that I want to focus on the lives of who these people were. They're more than just numbers. You know, 349 people have been killed in a school shooting since Columbine. And all of those people have stories. All those people had lives. All those people were going to do something. All those people had people depending on them. And I think it's important to focus on the fact that this is li this is, these are lives that are lost. And these are situations that can never, ever be fixed. And this tragic incident um, is going to affect the lives of the people involved, obviously, and the people that loved them, the people that worked with them, the people that knew them as friends, all of that. And um, I don't think enough focus has been placed on that. I think that America um, genuinely takes an interest in something when it affects them personally. And nobody can walk away from a dead relative, a dead child, a dead daughter or son and I know, I know it's not the happiest of subjects but I think more of a concern should be placed on the victims instead of a motive. Right and that's uh, something that doesn't get to be talked about a lot to right. see about lives and how it affects people other than just the actions or the action of and typically in America it is a place where seeing the action and not the, the conclusion or the aftermath of it is, is also where you know the glory is but um, that's really exciting to hear about that um, I'm really excited um, we want to thank you on behalf of Be Unique magazine of course um, and also on Coffee or Tea for Go and um, any last words? It's really a, a really a, a very very honored to be here at this uh, this film festival um, I, I, I love the fact that uh, film is celebrated in the way it is, especially with this festival. Um, it's a new festival. It's just getting started, and it's exciting. So. Well, you hear it here first. Until next time.